Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. You come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors? And welcome back to the channel so today we are having a seafood boil so if you're new to the channel if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded don't forget to share like leave me a comment i truly appreciate it so yes i have a whole dungeness crab here I have some shrimp in the front i have some sauce and um water to drink y'all know i usually always clean this off so i'm gonna take it down here and i'm gonna take these legs apart make it easier to eat so hey y'all hey i hope y'all doing well i am doing well all right let's eat because i'm hungry hopefully y'all can see the butter it's hot Put this lemon over here. I'm gonna get one of these shrimp. And I put two times spicy on these as well. Ooh. Yeah, be careful how you inhale it. That will hit you right in the throat. Onion just burnt my tongue. Mm, mm, mm. That's good though. <clears throat> mm. Oh, that shrimp was good. Let me get another one. <clears throat> Woo! It's good, but it will get you. some lemon on it this time. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. So thank y'all for watching the video yesterday. Mm. I can't stand these little, you know how you had a barnacles or whatever on them? Oh, girl, I don't like those. I don't like those. So anyway, I was this is gonna be a talking video because I feel like talking and I apologize to those who don't don't want to hear it. So um but the topic was talking about um parents treat boys different than girls. <laughs> and I don't know about y'all, but uh I don't know what's wrong with that leg. I don't know about you know if you treat your kids different or if your parents treated you well let me ask you do you treat your your boy different than you treat your your daughter your son different than you treat your daughter meaning do you give more a little a little bit more like do you give one more freedom than you give the other because i would say i probably do i'm guilty of that because stuff that my boys probably get to do Kiana probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Hanging out all night. 
Come back next day, all like, uh mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, no. I was glad because she didn't want to. And my mama was the same way. So it does happen. It really does. Ooh, look at my eyes. Ah, that is burning my finger. Shoot. <clears throat> but yeah, so I think it's true. Let me know if you think so too. Were you treated different than your siblings? Or do you treat your, like I said, your son and daughter differently? Like if my son say, you know, I'm moving to California or whatever. I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, make sure you got this, this, and this. You know, you're still going to be a little protective. But Kiana talking about she moving out to California. Now, I know some people going to have a problem with this. So, we just, this is a conversation where you agree to disagree. Okay? I don't judge you. You don't judge me. But, um, I don't know. I just be like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> what are we doing? Let me see what you got going on. Even though she's grown. I still have a bunch of questions. Mm -mm. And kid was like, um, you know none of your kids are coming back home, right? <laughs> I was like, how you know? They're just not. I wouldn't mind if they came back home. You know what I'm saying? To get themselves together or whatever. And he was like, they don't want to come back home. They have a lot of freedom <clears throat> out and about. They probably think I'm nosy. Well, I am nosy. Shoot. It is what it is. It's not nosy. It's protective. I don't care if they're 25 or 30. I've still got 50, 11 questions, you know? It's not easy. It's having your child out there in the street. Oh, this little shell flimsy. I've been choked on it, trying to slurp up the stuff. Yeah, that came right off. I knew something was wrong with him. But yeah. Oh, no. Mm -mm. But I think when it came to, like, school, I treated them all equal. I think it's just, like, the freedom and the things that, you know, you go out there, it's like, you finna go out there and get a tattoo or something. Or you going on a road trip with your friends. At like 16 or 17. I said, uh, uh, nope. I don't know about all that. I still have a lot of questions. And can't be like, you know, you realize they are grown, right? Yeah, but I don't think you ever just let go and just be like, okay, do your thing. Go out there and wild out. <laughs> Not me. I can't. I don't know. So those of you who have like kids around that age, you know, that 20 to 25, where, you know, they kind of can go off and do their own thing, but you still want to have a say in what they do. So that age right there, 20 to 25. I don't know. I, I guess I just got a problem. I know kids grow up and they can make their own decisions and stuff. But I'm just saying, it's dangerous out here. Dating is dangerous. You know. You don't know who you're talking to online. You don't know who is who. Somebody can present themselves to be somebody for a whole year. I don't know. And then, 
even if you know them and you're you see them they could flip you just don't know it's just too much you don't know if somebody plotting and planning again you know against you and i think i just got I don't know. I guess you have to trust your kids that you 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 told them to look out for certain things, but they're more trusting now because their whole life is on the like internet. Like that, how they date these days is the internet, and how they meet people is on the internet. And mm -mm. I don't know, y'all. I know somebody. Man, you need to get you an animal. So you can let them kids go. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know about all that. You need a little leg of salt. Let me just give me one more shrub. So yeah, y'all. Ain't nothing much going on. It's dreary outside. Excuse me. Everybody in here on chill mode. <laughs> Somebody talking about your kids say he don't want no pause. He was shenanigans. <laughs> he ain't say nothing, shy. Mm. He was like, "Oh, that's what y'all got going on." Okay. All right. You know, hope you know what you're doing. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, shit, y'all, I'm full. I got a little piece of the bodies left. Three shrimp. Real quick, real quick. All right, y'all. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.